This is my horse at Quan America Casherelle. Um, she's 11 years old. We've had her since she was a three-year-old. A highlight moment for me was obviously yesterday for my career with her. Massive day. Nice to be able to come out and have a counting score for the team. She's just cash in the stable. Um, so she's at Quan America Casherelle in the ring and then in the stable we call her cash. She's always a lovely mannered horse. She loves a, a fuss. She likes to have people around her touching her and and making a fuss of her. She's a bit of a diva as well um, in the stable. And then when she gets in the ring, she really, really lights up. And um, you know, she's always giving it 100% when she's in the ring. She never leaves anything out on the table. So she's got a fantastic attitude, both in the stable and in the ring. Well, I think she knows how talented she is. She's very, very spoiled at home, I have to be honest with you. So she knows she's special. She knows she's uh, a bit of a superstar and she can be a bit of a queen. My dad actually bought her out of a young horse auction, um, so we've produced her all the way through her career and uh, she's uh, the best horse I've got at the minute. So I remember seeing her for the first time at the young horse auction. We'd gone through the stables like me and my dad always did, looked over the door, got the horses out, had a little look at them um, and I remember then the very first thing was she was always a lovely sweet mare um, and she wanted to to sort of be around people and, and have people touching her and making a fuss of her. So she's always been the same um, from that very first day that I, I met her. Backed her when she was three and then when she was four, she had a, a summer in the field like we do with all our young horses. With her, we never really rushed her and did a lot of young horse classes. She's, she's a very big mare. Um, she took a long time to sort of grow into herself and, and sort of fill out. So um, we gave her plenty of time. I think she did maybe one seven-year-old class at the very end of her seven-year-old year so she, she was sort of kept a little bit behind the scenes to start with and then she sort of broke out a little bit onto that international scene and and now we, we're here at the World Championships. I've got a fantastic bond with her um, obviously having spent a lot of time with her throughout her career um, we've got to know her and, and what she likes and what she doesn't like and, and sort of how how she responds best in the ring and when you're working her. Um, but I have to say she's a lovely simple mare, she's not particularly difficult and she's always wanting to be on your side, she's not like some mares can be a little bit, a little bit against you, she's actually always on side and she wants to please you and wants to sort of help you out when she can. It'd be hard to describe the bond I have between her um, but I do feel like when I'm riding I can sense a little bit what she's thinking and, and she's always trying to think one step ahead of me and she's often trying to do things before I even ask her to do it because she's already thinking about what I want next so there's definitely a connection there between the two of us. You know having a big connection with my father before um, producing her, um, she's a special mare to me and we always said that she was going to be a championship horse so to now be here and, and be jumping at this level it's fantastic to sort of live up to the expectation we always thought she, she would have.